I'm on the curb. This car is way too fucking. This is a tight spot, Ariel. Why you put me here? Bitch, el golpe avisa. shopping for some tequila hello hello hola hola como estas what's good how you doing <laughs> um so i want to talk about this video a little bit this video is for channel 5 news which is an independent news source on youtube except it was did i say was or is it was for channel 5 <laughs> they were hiring and i talked myself out of basically <laughs> applying because i i think i misread the assignment but i really think that this is something i kind of still want to pursue so thank you channel 5 for striking a chord and i'm sorry i didn't do it sooner yeah so today we are talking about a place in new jersey that is very near and dear to my heart it's in hudson county and it is probably one of the longest strips of road here and it is called bargain line bergen line bergen line i think when we were kids it'll be like bergen line <laughs> just ready to die it's a very long strip of road it, it it's actually one of the one of new jersey's biggest uh commercial avenues this actually again it's it's so long that it stretches to multiple towns this begins in north bergen but it goes through gutenberg west new york unions and union city and has hundreds of stores and residential addresses it's very much a community-based main street to be honest i mean the way i'm describing it if you haven't guessed it's densely populated of course like there's gonna be mad heads out there and i would say a lot from what i recall it's very hispanic heavily populated you know there's well the predominance on cubans i would say but you could find all people from all different backgrounds uh different hispanic backgrounds okay uh, um Take it to go. One of my good friends, Ariel, uh, she actually grew up in Union City. I did not grow up in Union City. However, I spent a lot of time on Strip of Bergen Line and I hung out in all of those towns a lot. So it's very interesting to kind of see what we both went through as someone who didn't, who lived just the town over uh, from the beginning of Bergen Line Avenue compared to someone who actually grew up there and was there quite often and to kind of mix our experiences together and talk about it. <laughs> And it's just so, it's, it has just, it just holds so much significance, that strip of road. Like, I think every other block or every block, I have a memory that I'm just like, oh my God, that's where I did this. That's where I did that. That's where I witnessed this. You know, that's where the bus stop used to be. Now it's not there anymore. It's, it's one of those streets that I think me and a lot of, not just my friends, just strangers, everyone around the area heavily relies on this main strip. Although some may not see this as an important place, it really is to the people around the area. And uh, looking up videos on Bergen Line, I did stumble across one that offended me. And I was just like, man, come on. <laughs> um, every place in the world is gonna have its pro and cons, right? But it, yeah. <laughs> People really rely on this this strip and it's very easy to navigate whether you're taking a bus or you're in a car there's a lot of bike riders i used to skate brigham line all the time when i was younger i used to walk it and it's very easy to get around and memorize where things are and one of the most popular things that you will notice one of the most iconic 
things you would notice to me on Bergen Line is La Waba, which is a small bus w which everyone really goes around. It's cheaper than the NJ Transit, so a lot of locals rely on the Wawa. They, they also don't abide by like holidays or like really bad weather. I've taken the amount of times the wa La Wawa saved my life, dude. <laughs> Stranded out at like 2 a.m. or it'll be bl a blizzard and then like. <laughs> I was just in a lot of shenanigans as a kid, so I'm telling you when the bus, when you see that bus driver pulling up and they have no business being there, but they are, oh my god. Guardian angels, I must say. <laughs> and Guadalupe is like more like a, like a Mexican thing, right? That's what got Mexicans all crazy back in the 2000s. All my tias were out here sitting, protecting the tree. <laughs> Oh my god. So much so. It meant so much to the community that the city had to put this. Why'd you stop talking? Uh, <laughs> how do you. Hierro? They had to put the um, metal fence. For the culture. For the culture. And you know they're here because they'd be changing the water and the flowers and they'd be getting fresh flowers. Do you think it looks like La Virgen de Guadalupe? Oh, uh, mm. you feel like my skin's got hype out of nowhere. I kind of, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like, I kind of see it. <laughs> well, that's it. That's her. That's supposed to be her. Okay. And if you are from here, you believe it. There's no questions about it. Period. All right. It's all period. But yeah, and, and that goes beyond uh, Bergen Line, but I'm just saying a lot of them, it's not as popular as, as it is in that specific area. The bus goes from George Washington Bridge all the way to Second Street in, in Union City. And I know that's not a lot to you people, or second, it's it's a long distance. Just trust me when I say it's, it stretches so far. It's That's how long it is. It's it's. Towns on towns on towns. I guess other iconic things are, there's so, again, it's so Hispanic. It, there's so much Hispanic people, so heavenly dense. Uh, you could find anything you want. You could find Peruvian food, you could find Mexican food, you could find Colombian food, you could find Venezuelan food, you could find, honestly, is there Puerto Rican? I don't even know if there's Puerto Rican food, to be honest, but you can find a lot of Cuban spots. <laughs> I'm on a mission to find the, Cu the Puerto Ricans. Yeah, so, you know, this video meant a lot to do uh, with a friend and I didn't want it to be so short but I think if Channel 5 ever does pick up on this that this should be a place where they definitely come and visit if they're you know in New York or in New Jersey and they have extra time just go up and down the strip you're you're you know you'll see something you'll probably see something wild you'll get to rod la 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 you'll get to experience so much food in one <laughs> street it's awesome land Ooh, with the hot dog easy pickings and rainbows when we used to shop when money was tight <laughs> <laughs> and abc too <laughs> yeah abc was a big one i even used to noche de colombia when they had one and now they have 10. This is where I got hit by a car. Papco juice. I of wonder course. if they ever updated the poll on that poll. Zone is where my grandparents learned to speak English but they didn't learn a lot. Damn, this is where you got hit by a car. That's crazy. This is where everybody and their mama come to learn about beauty. <laughs> you got Fiesta where my, my dad's compadre works. Somebody that we're related to. I, I don't know how, but we're related to. Yeah, they got rid of Bambi, which I also used to shop. Bambi's done. Damn, that's crazy. No. It's a sad day. Look at that. Bambi. Oh. Damn, that's crazy. That's where I got my shoes for my first communion, my dress for my, my There's Bambi. There's always so. protests out here. Always. What, here? Yeah. Like vegans? Yeah. Wow. 
I, I, I'm bummed that I didn't, you know, I didn't share it. I should have. I think I just kind of doubt myself a lot. So also I felt like I didn't really, I, you know what, in this interview, I felt like I did interview someone and that was Ariel. <laughs> like she was talking so much. Again, like our memories are so different from each other. So you could tell how much more of a connection she has to the streets of Bergen Line compared to me growing up and being there all the time where I had to go out of my way to go to Bergen Line. You know what I mean? Like I, I lived the town over it's it wasn't in my immediate proximity so i didn't spend as much time on there so it was really great to see and moving forward i do want to do more interviews on the streets um but also hang out with my friends i have so many friends that grew up within those couple towns that it runs through and it would just be cool to just every single episode of bergen line go to like a different restaurant we'll check out different things we'll interview different people and and we'll check it out there's a lot of things that i noticed that changed that i will kind of move forward with in in new episodes of this series i don't know if i'm gonna call it bergen line <laughs> uh, i'll think about it as soon as i'm done editing this video just such an amazing diverse place where you could find so much cool stuff and meet and see so such a strong community-based uh town towns like, see what i mean like that, what they burned that shit down mysterious fires how many that's a story i'll tell you that much and then you go here and you see the fucking tallest building on bergen line it's crazy that's crazy they're just missing a fucking starbucks For i'm real. telling you i know the moment they put a starbucks forget it See, now you got big places like this. This is like one of the tallest buildings on B-Line. Right next to the light rail. So yeah, that would, this would have been my, <laughs> this would have been my application for Channel 5 News, which I would love to start really working on my journalism skills and, and start covering actual stories. But I think this is definitely a start. I'm super excited. And don't forget, if you like this video, you want more episodes, uh, subscribe, like, comment. It's super important. It helps me. It helps you get more content. And it helps, um, it helps, it, it helps, uh, <laughs> It helps me, it helps you, and if you like and subscribe, it helps the environment. Don't worry how you're just doing, you're helping the environment. Are you just not gonna help the environment? Till tomorrow. I I would be such an awkward Channel Five person. <laughs> I don't know how Andrew does it. <clears throat> Andrew Callahan, if you do see this video though, we gotta end the video. Goodbye. <laughs>